Well, the World Health Organization warned some nations are not doing enough tests for the deadly coronavirus that has infected more than 174,000 people globally. Let's bring in Dr. Ashish Jha, who is the Global Health Institute director at Harvard. Uh, Dr. Jha, let me pick up on what John Petridis just said, which is when you look at what's happening in the markets today, a lot of the concern is just that there is not a vaccine out there. Um, how, how far out are we and how should we be looking at this timeline right now? Yeah. So, look, we all wish there was a vaccine available today. Um, I think under the most rosy of scenarios, we're 12 months out from a vaccine. Um, it might be more like 18 months. Uh, but I don't think the vaccine is the solution. We should keep working on it, but I don't think that's what's going to bail us out anytime in the short run. Dr. Joe, I mean, when we talk about shortage of testing right now, I mean, I'm seeing this play out. My brother just got back from Spain traveling abroad, uh, and there's a shortage. Local uh, ERs over there are saying that they're down to their last test. We're seeing this play out in a lot of communities uh, as well. So what does that do to all the efforts right now that we're trying to see flatten the curve, make sure that health care systems are not overrun in, in dealing with this? Yeah. Look, um, we've had a, a fiasco with testing in our country. Um, it's really stunning that we still are testing far fewer people than any other country uh, in the any other major country in the world. Um, so we are now into pure, full force social distancing mode. And that means we really are heading, I believe, towards a national quarantine. I don't mm -hmm. I don't know how we get away from it. Um, it, it, you know, if it doesn't end up happening, most states will end up doing it. And that is the right thing to do, because here's the cost of not doing it. I understand the cost of doing it. The cost of not doing something like that means that our hospitals are going to get overwhelmed. You're going to see lots of people who are critically ill being turned away because we don't have enough hospital beds, enough ICU beds. We've got to avoid that. And the only tool, the best tool we have, not the only, but the best tool we have is social distancing. Um, getting people to stop interacting. With when you talk about a national quarantine, are you talking about closing off the borders or banning domestic travel, halting all domestic travel as well? So there is no movement between the states. Yeah, look, I think we can close the borders. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference because the virus is already here. And then somebody used the analogy of it's like locking the door once you already have the killer inside your house. It's not all that helpful. <laughs> uh, second, is I think banning domestic travel probably is a good thing. But my sense from the data is that this virus is now in a large proportion of communities across America. It probably would be good to, to not have it spread any further between communities. But the biggest problem is we've got it in, we've got community spread happening across the United States. We've got to test people, we've got to identify who's sick, and we've got to put in very strong social distancing approaches so that we can slow the spread of the virus in all these communities across America. Yeah, but the problem is, I mean, these cases rise exponentially when we look at it. So, I mean, we've already lost days by not having those tests out there. And when you look at what's happening uh, in Italy right now, are you saying because we were so far behind that the same will inevitably start playing out here? So I don't believe anything is inevitable. And look, if we got serious today, and in the last 24 hours, I've seen Governor DeWine of Ohio, Governor Baker of, of Massachusetts, Cuomo of New York, others starting to finally get serious about this. I think if we get serious, we can stave off what has happened in Italy. It's not going to happen if we do the status quo, and it's not going to happen if we make little measures. We've got to take dramatic, substantial measures today. Yesterday would have been better. Today's good. Tomorrow is not as good. We got to get going. And finally, doctor, you know, you talk about um, the capacity at the hospitals. That seems to be a big concern. We've already heard uh, a lot of major hospitals coming out and saying we are not doing uh, any surgeries that are not urgent at the moment. Can you just give us a yeah. sense of the conversations you have had uh, among some of these hospitals, among doctors about uh, how overwhelmed they already are at this stage? Yeah, so look, uh, most hospitals so far are not overwhelmed. We're, they're starting to see cases now coming into the emergency room. They're starting to see cases uh, uh, in the ICU. But we know how this works. The math on this is very clear. We're going to see exponential rise, and we've got to slow that down. And this is why I love the idea of restaurants and bars being shut down, not because we don't want people to be uh, going out to restaurants, but we don't, we can't, we can't afford interactions among humans right now. We've got to really slow down the progress. 
I think doctors and hospitals are, are pretty worried about what's coming down the pike in the next week or two. I think every hospital has to be canceling all elective surgeries and making a plan for what they're going to do when they get hundreds or maybe thousands of patients showing up to their doors very sick. Dr. Ashish Jha, the director of the Global Health Institute at Harvard, appreciate your time today. Thanks a lot for having me. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.